Hey everybody, and welcome to Down Home Diamond Painting and More. My name's Holly, and today we're just going to work on our dragon here and have a little chat. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Memorial Day, so we're having a quiet day here, remembering the reason for the day, and it's not picnics and days at the beach, it's Remembering those who gave their lives so that we can sit and talk and work on diamond paintings and color or whatever it is we do. So if you've got a project you're working on, get it out. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to talk a little while and we'll work on the dragon here. My dragon is from True Artist Diamond Painting. And it's a work by Nathaniel Manns. I will link it in the description box below so that you can go and check it out for yourself. My pen is from Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and More. They have a shop on Etsy. They also have a Facebook group. I'll link them in the description box below also. My tray came from My 3D Designs on Etsy. I will link that for you below also. I have two different trays, so I'll link them both. But today we're just going to sit, we're going to talk, and see what everybody's doing, see what everybody has going on, see how life's treating you today, and think a little bit about the men and women who have given their lives for us to have our freedoms today. Um, I thank goodness have not lost any family members in combat. I have had some members of my family who have served and thank goodness came back to us intact or reasonably intact, at least alive. Um... My father, unfortunately, was not able to serve. He had a medical exemption. He had some medical issues that kept him from enlisting in the military. His younger brother served in the Navy for some years and came back to us, thank goodness, hale and hearty. From what everybody tells me, a lot bigger, too. Because I guess he was sort of a little shrimp when he left. And he came back and was quite a bit taller and quite a bit more muscular. So I guess the Navy made him grow up a little bit. Um, I have some uncles on my mother's side who served during Korea. And one of them came back with some pretty severe injuries, but he did come back. So we were thankful that he made it back to us. He has since in the years passed away. I believe some of it from the injuries he suffered while he was serving, but he made it back to us alive at least. So we're thankful for that. I have a couple of cousins who have served. I, have, I think pretty much everybody in the family, with the exception of maybe my uncle on my mother's side, served in the Navy. I don't know what the fascination with the Navy was. That just happened to be where we ended up, I think. Um, have a former son-in-law who served in the Army, and he was in Iraq. And came very close a few times to uh, not coming back to us. But thankfully, through the grace of God and the U.S. Army, he managed to get back here to us. He's a, a, a proud veteran. He's no longer in the military. He had some medical issues and was discharged from them, but none of them, thank goodness, were war injuries. They were injuries that he sustained while being stateside and stationed, so he's made it okay. 
So I can honestly say I've been in the position of sitting back dreading seeing that car pull up in front of the house to give us bad news. And I, through the grace of God or whoever you believe in, never got that visit. My daughter never got that visit while she was married to him, thank goodness. But we dreaded it. We, we kind of expected it. We, we kind of kept that thought in the back of our heads that it could happen any day. But thank God it never did. But I do know of quite a few who did lose folks in the wars. I've lost some folks that I knew from high school and some folks that I knew after high school. We've lost them in the military. We've lost them overseas to battle situations. So I think about them on a day like today. A day when, you know, all those families who have lost people go to pay their respects to their loved ones and to the others who died with them. But it is a, a somber day, a day for thought and reflection. But it's also a day to be glad for all the freedoms that we have because of those nice folks and their sacrifices and their family sacrifices. The soldiers died, but the families lost sons, daughters, husbands, wives, fathers. So I think about them today too. I think about children who are growing up without their parents. So it's it's a, a somber day. I mean, a lot of people enjoy it. They have their picnics and things like that. And I just hope while they're doing that, they're remembering why they have the freedoms to do those things. But I hope everybody's having a good Memorial Day, be you having a, a day of enjoyment or be you having a day of remembrance. And I hope everybody's working on something nice. That, you know, you've got a favorite craft that you're working on and that you're making good progress with. I'd love to see everybody's whips and, and projects they're working on in my comments. I kind of like to see what everybody's working on. Me, I like a little of everything. Been working on this dragon for a little while. I should have him finished up this week. I've had a little more time this week to work on him than I usually have to work on diamond paintings. So I'll be pretty close to finished with him. I just have a little strip across the top of his head here. Some special drills I'm putting in. This one didn't come with special drills, but I couldn't leave him, you know, just plain. I'm one of those kind, can't leave a good thing alone. I got to make it better. So I've dressed him up a little bit, and I'll show all of you that when I get all finished with him so you can see how he looks in the end. We've had some ups and downs this week. My granddaughter's husband ended up having to have oral surgery. He had a tooth that went bad and he was going to have it pulled and, well, they couldn't pull it. It ended up having to be cut out. So, he had oral surgery. He's recovering okay from it. I mean, it was, the tooth, I guess, was in pretty bad shape. He was in quite a bit of pain. So he switched the pain of the toothache for the pain of the surgical recovery. And apparently it had some pretty bad things going on with it. So 
he's got a few days of recovery to get to doing better with that, some antibiotics and things, but he's on the mend, so that kind of ended the drama for the week. Once again, this week I've been hanging out with the toddler, and once again she's been showing me that I'm not as young as I used to be, and well, today's the day for me to know that, because today's my birthday, and I've never been one for Hiding how old I am. I worked a long time to get this old. So Today is my 65th birthday. So I made it to that golden age. Although I don't know why they say it's a golden age. When I feel like a rusty old car. But I made it. Wondered a few times in my life if I'd ever get this old. Because, well, a lot of people treat their bodies like a temple. Take good care of me. I treated mine like an amusement park. Got out and did a lot of things I shouldn't have done and worked a lot of jobs that I shouldn't have worked because, well, I just wasn't physically able to do them, but I decided I'd do it anyway. Indulged in a lot of activities that kind of took a toll on the body because, well, it resulted in broken bones and dislocated things and almost amputated toes. So I, you know, haven't treated my body real well. I've, I've definitely used it, but somebody made a joke one time that they said that um, they could see I was probably going to go, you know, skidding sideways into the cemetery screaming, here I am, here I am. Because I wasn't going to slow down long enough to let death catch up with me. And I really don't have any plans of doing that anytime in the future. Um, my heart's still 20. My body may be 65, but my heart's still 20. And like I said once before. Um, you know, laws of nature said I had to get older, but ain't nothing in the rules said I had to grow up. And, well, I'm not a grown up. I'm just a 65-year-old kid. Because when you grow up, you start to, you know, do the adulting thing. And, well, adulting kills you. It just, it'll wear you down. So, you stay a kid your whole life. Or at least have a kid's heart your whole life. Because if you don't, then the matters of the world weigh you down. That's advice from an old lady. So... Summer vacation's finally here. All the kids are now out of school. At least as far as I have been hearing. Pretty much everybody's out of school now. So, I guess everybody's got big plans for the summer. Those of you who have vacations planned, I hope that they turn out well. I hope that you don't find too many restrictions and too many things that slow down your enjoyment of your time kind of looking forward to a chance maybe to get out and take a little vacation myself don't know yet if I'm going to be able to but that's sort of kind of the plan try to get a few days away and if I do you can be guaranteed you folks go along with me because I'm definitely going to take some pictures and take some video and be sharing my time away. I did do um, a little video that I'll be sharing with you folks at the end of this whip and chat that I took down at our uh, memorial park here in town. So, you know, you stick around to the end for me and I'll show you how our little town honors our war veterans. I only have one puppy dog companion today, so he's he's being rather quiet. He's he's not fussing and fighting because his brother's gone. So he can lay down and be quiet. Act like he's got a little bit of good sense. Which, well, 
I don't think he does, but today he's acting like he does. He's uh, quite the rounder. He was born on Christmas Eve, so he's still a baby. He's not too old. So he wears me out, too, as he definitely wants to go ripping around the yard and we don't have a fenced yard yet, so have to keep an eye on him. But he's like any other crazy puppy. He runs around the yard, picks up sticks, runs all over the yard with them, roots around, chases birds, silly things like that. Got a kitty cat floating around here somewhere too, but he tends to stay to himself. He's not the social butterfly that the puppy is. Other dogs that are around here, they're old and grouchy and want to be left alone. So, I just have the puppy for companion right now. He's over here in his kennel asleep. Being quiet for a change. I usually have to record these things at night after they've had a full day of playing because they tend to make a lot of noise. But puppies do that. Children do that. The kids are all gone right now, too. Visiting the in-laws and the other grandparents. And one of my granddaughters has gone to her young man's house to spend a little time with him and his family today. I guess they are having a cookout or having some sort of a thing. My daughter had to work last night, so right now she's sleeping, preparing to take a big test tomorrow to see if she can get her certification and everything as a CNA. That way she can be ready to take the next step on in her educational journey but like I said it's a kind of a quiet somber day today so I won't run this on too terribly long I hope that you folks are having a good day I hope you have a good week um you know I hope everything's going well in your life you know let me know down in the comments what you're doing how you're doing I'm always interested in hearing how my subscribers and my viewers are doing, whether it's good or it's bad. I'm always interested in hearing how you're doing. That way, if I can offer some words of encouragement or offer a little advice or just be somebody that listens when you're aunt and rave, that's fine. I can do that for you. But... We're going to go for now, and like I said, I'll include the video on the end of this so you can see our Veterans Memorial Park, and I will talk to all you folks later. Um, Y'all come on back. We'll talk some more next time. Hi, everybody. I'm ending my video today on Memorial Day with a little tour of the park that our town has dedicated to our war veterans. This is the plaque honoring our Revolutionary War veterans. And we have flags that cover all branches of the military, including our MIA. The ones who never came home. We have the members of the Rotary Club de dedicated this. And we have, starting in 1900, we have the Korean War, World War I. And thank goodness there's only one plaque for World War I. I think we have one other little small one, but not as many as some of the others. This is World War II. 
And as you can see, we have a lot of plaques for World War II. This county and this area lost a lot of young men in World War II. lot of young men. These are actually very, very, very tall plaques. Very, very, very tall plaques. And then we have a World War I there with just a few names, thank you. And then we have the Korean War here. Here's a couple of more for World War II, they are the ones that wouldn't fit on the others, I suppose. And then here's one more for the Korean War. And then we start with the Vietnam War. And there are several Vietnam War memorials here, but not as many as World War II, thank goodness. A lot of people. And then the Cold War of 76 to 89. And then we have the Persian Gulf War. We lost a few young men in this. And then we have the War on Terrorism, and this is Afghanistan and Iraq. And then we have some more of the Korean War. Then we have some more from the Vietnam War. And I honestly believe the way that they honor young men here is even after they get to be old men and pass, if they have served, they get put on these walls here too. And here's one more for the Vietnam War. So our little town, we honor our veterans with different plaques and different appreciation things here. There are a lot of bricks along the edge here for people in the class of 1942, all different kinds of Some World War II, some recently. So, we remember our honored. And I think for today, we'll close our video with my wish for you, as always. May the warm sun shine warm on your face. May the rain fall soft on your garden. May love find you always. Y'all come on back next time, and we'll talk again. Bye, y'all.